this is Mato. In this video I will show you the game between Otman and Inner Kiel. This is the game from World Blitz Championship that was played in Dubai in 2014. Otman had white pieces and he started with d4. Inner Kiel played knight to f6, c4, g6, knight to c3 and Inner Kiel played d5, a Grunfeld defense. Knight to f3 the most popular move in this position is c takes on d5 and the line goes like this knight takes pawn e4 knight takes on c3 pawn takes knight c5 in our game we have knight to f3 different approach bishop to g7 e3 in our key of castled kingside c takes on d5 knight takes on d5 white to move Otman played bishop to e2. Perhaps bishop to c4 is better. This is the most played move. In our game, we have bishop to e2. Perhaps less ambitious. Or maybe white was worried about pinning the knight. c5, the standard move, attacking white center. Knight takes on d5. Queen takes knight, pawn takes pawn, queen takes pawn, and Otman casts at the king's side. Knight to c6. Ten moves have been played. Did white get anything from the opening? What do you think? If your answer is no, it's matching with my answer. White to move. Otman played e4, intending bishop to e3. Bishop to g4, bishop to e3, queen to b4, attacking the pawn on b2, and one on a4. Queen to c2, defending both. Rook from a to c8. Why black didn't take the pawn on b2? If queen takes on b2, queen takes queen, bishop takes queen, rook from a to b1. And after say bishop to f6 or bishop to g7, rook takes pawn on b7. Hmm, that is why. So in the game we have rook from a to c8 aligning the rook with the queen. a3 attacking the queen. Should black take the pawn now or not? What do you think? Well, taking the pawn works now. Queen takes pawn. Queen takes queen. Bishop takes queen attacking the rook. Rook from a to b1, but then black snatched one more pawn. Rook takes on b7. a5. Dangerous pass pawn. Could this pawn give black a winning advantage? What do you think? It should. The game continued. h3 attacking the bishop. To take or to retreat? Perhaps the less pieces on the board, the most dangerous pass pawn on a file is. Bishop takes on f3. Rook to b8. Rook from f to b1. Bishop to b4. Cutting communications between two rooks. Rook to c7. Rook from f to c8. Rook takes rook, rook takes rook, bishop to d1, preventing a4. Knight to e5. Bishop to a4. Knight to d3. White to move. White played bishop to d7. And resigned. One possible line goes like this. Rook to c3. Bishop to a4. Bishop to c5. Bishop takes bishop. Knight takes bishop. Now both white bishop on a4 and the pawn on e4 are under attack. Bishop to c6 defending the pawn. a4. Defending the pawn 
on e4, a3, bishop to d5, preventing a2, e6, perhaps, bishop to a2, rook to c2, defending the bishop, knight to d3, king to f1. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Perhaps this is the simplest way to win. Check. Forcing exchange of the rooks. Rook takes rook. Knight takes rook attacking the bishop. Bishop to c4. a2. Bishop takes pawn. Knight takes bishop. Perhaps white was right when he resigned in this position. Would you resign? So bishop pair wasn't a match for a past pawn. What do you think of this game? That is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.